Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. And this will be a reading for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest. Um, okay. Up in some cards here. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Let's get started. So you have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun, and cassette. Okay. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in the head. Okay. So definitely somebody here thinking passionately about you and being reminded of past connection, um, replaying events over in the head. Let me see. Okay. And a healing heart. Okay. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Okay. So this feels like your energy here, Virgo. It feels like to me that, um, it's time to let go of somebody here outdated thinking you're replaying some old events in your head about somebody and um you know that mixtape is like way old now we're we're out here on uh mp4s and, and what <laughs> whatnot okay uh, you had insane chemistry with someone in the past there's no doubt here you like e liked each other equally um the relationship might have been more physical than it was emotional and I feel like now you're healing from something. Um, it might have become a very toxic relationship. Um, you might have, might be healing from preoccupation of thinking about someone more than you should. You might have been conditioned or groomed in a past relationship, okay? So I, I definitely feel like you're healing from something here, Virgo. You're free, you're getting yourself free. <clears throat> I'm free from some type of addictions. Um, hmm. this doesn't have to be a um, relationship this could be anything in your life um, you know if you have any kind of because it says freedom from toxic relationship or an addiction right so insane chemistry with a person, place, or a thing in your past. All right, let's take a look and see what other messages are going on here. Okay, getting truthful with yourself. Queen of Swords energy, Virgo. You're being real with yourself that it's time to heal. It's time to get yourself in superstar mode. <clears throat> it's time to make yourself number one. Put yourself first, for sure. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. And that Queen of Swords, again, it, it's like, you know, becoming more self-sufficient. You know, and getting honest with who you are, um, like having clarity uh, in regards to some kind of situation and the clarity coming in the rest of May is it's time for it's time for healing. It's time for recovering that star. That makes me feel like you're renewing yourself, um, having faith again in who you are, getting yourself out there, recognized, known, but for all the right reasons, not for vanity or anything like that. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, look at that. You might be giving back, maybe doing some charity work for some of you, something along those lines. This feels like a, a, a reading that's mostly about you and your energy and how your, your healing process, your healing process, giving to the children, giving to others, sense of duty. Um, this is very much a healing energy. Freedom, the fool. Okay, double Aquarius. Then we have triple Aquarius here. <clears throat> and Aquarius is all about humanitarian moves, moving forward, um, being free, having new adventures, new beginnings. So taking some kind of chance and a risk you Virgo I just I see you freeing yourself from something the rest of May here like really coming to terms I see you cutting some cords and you know snapping those strings and uh, moving f moving away from something that was toxic or addictive there's healing energy recovering 
um, replenishing the well, going to source, you know, that outdated thinking, like recognizing, um, replaying some events over and over again in your head is not serving you. It's, it, it's like um, you're letting go. I see you letting go, okay? And chasing what your heart's passion is at this time. Now, let me see what an energy is external to you coming up here in May. What's external to Virgo coming forward? Okay, so you've got the tower. Okay, Scorpionic energy, Ace of Wands, wow. Uh, some of you are moving, you're getting some kind of inspiration to start over here. Um, just tearing down those old walls and rebuilding again, having new growth. You know, after the tower falls, after the destruction happens in, in life, whether it's caused by us or it's coming down from up above, um, when the land is burned and everything is gone, then there's, you know, new growth happening here. Um, you notice the trees here start blooming again. You know, there's regrowth, rebirth happening here. So that's what's in front of you. As you let go, as you release, as you let go of some past stuff here, um, everything just breaks down and you have an opportunity coming here. You will be inspired. You'll begin to see new growth at the seeds that you begin to plant. Look at, this is what you're doing here. Recovering, letting go and dropping them seeds, okay? <clears throat> Into the ground. And, you know, the children of life, nourishing those seeds, giving back, okay, which was taken from you. You receive it back because you heal, you renourish, you replenish, you renew, and you start dropping new seeds and a new adventure here. This feels like a very spiritual reading. You're having this new growth. So I feel like mostly the message for you so far is that <clears throat> what you're letting go of, what you're destroying... And beginning with a new, okay, this this tower kind of feels like a cold, harsh winter coming to the end of that. And now we've got, you know, the, the new seeds of growth. You're, you're going to start seeing those little teeny tiny flowers on things that you didn't think could replenish, things that you didn't think could grow again, something that you thought might have been dead. Um, that was never going to have life back in it again you're going to start seeing that the butterflies are going to start coming you know the bees um, pollination um, but yet but it feels like you, you, you they're, they're telling me they're giving me something here about a recipe recipes and cooking or a recipe um, adding a new twist to a recipe, um, those old recipes that, that you've been using. I don't know if this is figuratively, literally, the old recipes that you've been using are just blah, they're bland now. And now you're gonna, the spice of life, and you start, you know, adding new ingredients. <laughs> adding new ingredients to the recipe, mixing things up, making changes in your life, okay? following your passions. Maybe some of you are going to start cooking or um, getting into cooking or learning to cook or something along those lines. Um, what else is coming towards Virgo? Wow, two aces. You also have new love. Look at that. Your heart, your cup overflowing. Okay, love will be coming to you. This is a blessing. This is a gift. I feel like there's something that you, you have to let go of in order to have this new growth. You've got to let go. Destroy... Um, muck up the soil, till the soil, mix things up, put new ingredients, plant new seeds so that you can have new growth. Um, doing that, destroying that past, uh, saying no, making room for new growth is what is what's going to come. Water, look, water for the flowers, nourishment, replenishment, and the sun here. Okay. Healing that heartbreak. Three of Swords. Some of you might have been a third party situation or it's just an argument or a healing of the heart. Figuratively. <clears throat> 
cardiac issues getting healed. Maybe some surgery, okay? Steady as she goes, slow and steady, okay? It feels to me like you're on a brand new path here. You're just you're snipping that cassette ribbon and no longer listening to those old songs, those old uh, tapes in your head, okay? Making room for new, new growth. What else is coming towards Virgo? Oh, the King of Wands is back again, coming towards you. Okay, so I know we were talking about the King of Wands over the weekend. And for some of you, the King of Wands showed up. You left me messages. Some of you said, oh my God, that weekend reading actually happened. For some of you, it didn't. And maybe this is the message here. King of Wands coming in fast. Okay. Um, and straight towards you with the chariot. That's Cancer Energy there. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. <clears throat> this person is on their way to you. Um... Uh, they're on a journey. Action and change. That's interesting. Okay, this person's showing up in a... Well, through the air. <laughs> well, it's Mars energy as well. If it's Aries, it could be Scorpio. Um, this person um, flying, driving, um, balanced, coming in very balanced. But just they know... It feels like this King of Wands... Uh, male or female energy in my general readings <clears throat> feels like this king of wands this is person is the yin to your yang is what i'm hearing this person comes through as um they know exactly what they need to do they're telling me they know exactly which direction they need to go and that is they're coming towards you that's what i was saying so i don't know if some of you had to let go of a past relationship or um or a person a place or a thing um or all three whatever it is that you're having to let go of and start over again that it, it's like you're opening up the energy to have love come towards you and to have new growth and a new beginning i can't believe that i really can't believe that this king of wands is showing up here again okay yeah this person comes in with a whole cornucopia of fulfillment wishes to give you um everything that you've been wishing for it's kind of like someone who's hosting a party and provides all of the food <laughs> you know there's abundance here with the nine of cups material abundance emotional wishes being granted that kind of thing this person is not coming in as a genie don't take it like that you know um but they are they are coming in as a provider i feel okay oh it's gonna be a surprise yeah mm, i don't know what exactly i feel like some of you can't imagine how this could be happening I'm just hearing or how this is even possible but um, I feel like this person may have given you the impression or at first may give you the impression that they're apathetic or not interested but that's not the case okay that is not the case and I don't know I, I know coming up it's going to be a surprise if you already know this person it'll be a surprise because they may have acted as if they weren't interested in you but mm, they may have had some things that they needed to sort out um, with the four of cups they may have not been able to make a decision or they had some uh, many op some options on the table or things they had to sort out before they could get to you but now they're they're coming after you in a positive way. I feel like this person has been looking for you or watching you. Okay? If they're if they're not able to watch you, they're looking for you. They're curious about you. And I feel like that's what's spurring them on to come towards you. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you are completely single and there's nobody in your life, then I feel like this person will be showing up. If you have someone already who's not a fire sign, they're coming with the element of fire, okay? With that passion, that courage, that bravery, that charm, that boldness. Let me see what else is coming towards Virgo. 
Okay. Hmm. Well, I see you being very protective of yourself. Concerned about deceit. Concerned about um, lies and manipulation or um, protecting your heart so that if somebody decides to run away from you or leave a relation or if this this person comes toward you and then leaves again uh, i just basically feel like you're not going to open your heart up fully to someone just yet um it's like everything you hear the sound the ding it's like everything is opening up for you as you let go of the past but I, i'm telling you it, it feels like whatever's new coming in is coming in quick. And that might kind of set you, like I said, a surprise. That might kind of set you off like, whoa, wait a minute. I just, <laughs> I just did, I just finished this one chapter. I just completed this. I need like to pause and gather myself before um, I'm able to move into something new. Even though the opportunities are presenting, <clears throat> excuse me. I've had this horrible um, twitch in my throat. Even though the opportunities are presenting themselves to you, I feel like you're you're not going to jump real quick. I just feel like you're very guarded. You'll be very guarded going forward. Okay, King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, you're protecting your castle. You're protecting your um, your finances for some reason or your work your career is trying to stay steady and stable you're not trying to rush into anything with anyone too quickly this person's coming in with some heavy duty passion and like rushing in okay um but whatever changes you're going through at this time in your life um you're welcoming to having companionship or someone in your life but you're not trying to rush anything I, I just feel like as far as your heart goes you're not opening that up too quickly maybe because you're like a brand new baby starting off here but you're cautious okay the fool upright is a cautious risk taker <laughs> you know um in the reverse it's a, t a risk taker and doesn't even recognize that there's problems you know um so yeah, you're being very protective of yourself at this time. You're not, um, but I do feel like whoever's coming in here is definitely um, coming in to pr be a provider. So I feel like you're going to take your time and get to know this person even more before you, because I feel like some of you really want to settle down at some point and you know have that brick and mortar, have that house, the family stability um safety and security that's something that's really what you're more focused on than it, but you're keeping your heart kind of withheld you know because your heart's been hurt you're still trying to heal from some kind of a broken heart situation so now you've really got it locked up because you know that there's deceit and you should guard your heart you know i mean you should never not open your heart again but that's a fine jewel that heart of yours so you should protect your heart you know um until you know it's safe to give it to somebody you know that trust can be um you know formed you know but you have to it's not that you you have to see that someone comes with integrity and trust you're more focused right now on okay i feel like the first thing you're going to look at with this person is do they have are they safe? Are they someone I can trust? Are they secure? Are they financially stable? Are they, you know, or are they going to come in and take all my money and ruin my credit and <laughs> sleep on my couch and eat all my food and not, you know, give you anything? I feel like that's really important to you, Virgo. You're kind of like um, the Virgo that looks at all the facts first and is more pragmatic practical let me reason this out first before i give my heart and then when i know that there's a foundation here that can be built upon then i can open up my heart i feel like that's um the way you're approaching life maybe these days or you will be going forward you gave your heart before and you did you, you did it first before you knew someone was gonna be able to take care of it and now you're trying to heal that there's something somebody must have broken your heart in the past or um broken your trust okay Let's see what the romance angels messages are here for you virgo okay 
Okay, healing family issues. Okay, some of you have childhood trauma, issues with parents you're looking at, you're healing, you're trying to work through. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So that might be one of those situations where if you dealt with trauma in your childhood by family members or parents, um, they may have had trauma as well and they passed it along to you. And because they were traumatized, um, that's kind of like ancestral sharing all the way down the line there. Um, so it might help you to say, you know, my, my parents didn't know what they were doing. Um, they were taught a particular way and then they pass that on to me and then I'm pa I may have passed that on to my children or, or I didn't have any children because I didn't want to pass that on to my kids. I had a fear of that, you know. So there's a lot of forgiving and healing going on here with family or will be coming up. Okay, and then once that's forgiven, then you've got playfulness. Um, allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So getting back into that child, once those childhood wounds are healed, then the child can come back out and play and live and be happy and enjoy life, um, letting go of the fears. Okay, freeing yourself. See, time to taking back control of your life, Virgo. So that's really what's going on here. <laughs> I just feel like you are 100% um, freeing yourself from something that had you caged persons places or things and it might be a little scary for you because you're not sure what to expect um but i feel like you've been without before and you're a survivor you're definitely not a victim and i think that it might be a little scary for you to go it alone um but at the same time, it's challenging and thrilling and it's very freeing. So there's a bittersweet energy. But as time goes by, the more you remind yourself every day that you're letting go of something and you're snapping those strings, cutting those cords, you ask for signs. Because I think when you do, you're going to start seeing signs of growth, that you're on the right path. You know, like I always like to use analogies. And I was thinking like when you start exercising, you know, you don't see results for a bit. You may, at first it's going to be a little sore. <laughs> if you're just starting an exercise program, you haven't done it. So at first it might feel a little sore, but then, you know, you eventually adjust, your body adjusts, and then you start gaining strength and you're better able to handle it. And then after a little time, more time goes by, then you start seeing results, right? So you have to be very patient with yourself. And I feel like patience, you know, just keep planting those seeds consistently day after day. Um, those gifts and rewards are going to come to you. Because if, if, especially if you were in a toxic relationship or some, or in a relationship with someone that had addictions or you became co-addicted or something along those lines, um, that's like an infection. That's like a virus that spreads. When, when you're involved with someone who's toxic, um, Uh, what's the, what's the saying I, I don't remember the saying you know when you throw your pearls to pigs <laughs> you know um, then you, you wind up you know hanging out in the hog house with them you know what I mean don't give away your goods and you may have in the past to someone who maybe tricked you or made you think that they were trustworthy um, and that you know um, you never wrestle with a pig <clears throat> because a pig likes it. Is that the saying? <laughs> you were wrestling with a pig and the pig loved it. <clears throat> wrestling in the mud. You were getting dirty and muddy with that pig you were wrestling with. And then, you know, and the pig was enjoying it and you were hating it. So just remember that. You were giving that pig exactly what they wanted. When you would fight, when you would argue, when you would pull and prod and push when you would walk away and they would chase you this game no more games you're just done with some games here let's see what other messages there are for you okay oh you've got earth utilize logic reason and common sense so that's definitely what you're going to be doing here going forward in your life um you still have your passions you're chasing your passion that are good for you, not chasing people. Um, you're being more logical and reasonable, having more common sense about people. You're being sensible. Um, when you're sensible, you know, sensible people ask questions. Sensible people pry, and they want 
answers. They want details about things. Um, when you're not being sensible and asking questions and just throwing your cares to the wind with someone you don't know, then you're gullible and you're easy prey. So ask those questions when you meet somebody or when you meet other people. Um, explore, explore the earth, dig in, find out um, whoever's coming towards you if this person matches with you because like I say all the time like in that card with the passion insane chemistry does not mean equal compatibility you know you could have insane chemistry with anybody you know you can have insane chemistry with lots of people but you're not compatible with everybody and so you have to take that into account as well okay so you've got love, true love and fidelity. Fidelity. I always say fidelity. Like, what's the matter with me? True love and fidelity. So, yeah. I mean, this is what you're looking for. This is what you should be seeking from someone. Someone that is true and is honest with integrity and shows up. This is earth love. <laughs> Virgo love is earth love. Let's see what else. And the spirit unseen forces watch over you okay so you know this is really a message of utilizing spiritual beliefs and 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 spirit to guide you through this next journey of your life here going on faith and that's what the fool does the fool may not always know where the fool is going but he's ready to take the adventure and the fool takes the adventure with faith okay the fool knows that with every step he takes They'll be protected from um, problems because he, he goes in faith. He's not careless. He's cautious, but he's not careless, you know? Um, so, for example, like the cautious fool would be someone who knows the fire is hot, but deliberately takes a chance, risks putting his finger in the fire. He knows what the consequences are going to be. But he makes the conscious decision to take that risk. The, the fool that is not cautious doesn't even look to see if the fire is hot. The fool that is not ca cautious um, will always have regret because the fool who's not cautious does not take a moment. They're too spontaneous. Um, the, the, the cautious fool will go from the frying pan into the fire where the cautious fool i'm sorry they're not i'm confusing you aren't i <laughs> i'm confusing myself the fool upright knows the risks but does it anyway the fool in reverse doesn't know the risks and has regret and remorse right so when you're going to jump out of an airplane you know the risks but you make that decision. Do you want to take that risk? And if you make that decision to take the risk and you get hurt, well, you have no one else to, to blame but yourself and you accept that because you made that decision. The fool in reverse jumps out of an airplane without knowing the risk and blames everybody else if they get hurt. No, it's you're a fool. You're an idiot. Now you're an idiot because you know what the risks are. Not you. I'm talking about the fool. Boy, I really like blotch that up i don't know it's just coming out so crazy <laughs> all right let's get some other messages this video is gonna be a little bit short tonight um let's get your other messages here okay new passionate start there you go that's what I'm talking about. You 100% have a new passionate start happening here in your life, okay? That's that new um, Ace of Wands, new growth. Beautiful. And it could be with the King of Wands as well. I don't know why the King of Wands keeps showing up in your reading. Time to go. Oh my God, that's the chariot. Here you go. Get your GPS set and take off. Know where, you know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed now. So you're going. You're freeing yourself. The gates are opening up for you. I see that. And you get ready to go. Look at that. Money in the bank. 
doing well. Okay, you're looking good, Virgo. I feel like freeing yourself is, is going to bring you many blessings. Many blessings in, in growth and many blessings in love here. Okay, oh, okay. The past also returns. So for some of you, it could be this King of Wands returning, okay? Um, we had quite a lot of Aquarius, Gemini. Um, there was Libra. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm going to go with, for some, it's the King of Wands who's returning from your past, and for others, it's another person showing up. And, you know, Virgo, I have to tell you, um, if you've, if you're, if you're starting over, that generally does happen because people who don't want to let you go or who see you succeeding or come to terms with, they really, you know, they lost you, they should have held on to you once you finally, like, have a big chess move and, and finish the game here the past tends to show up and of course we're still in mercury retrograde so this energy may be playing out okay but your spiritual principles are in effect here traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path what are your spiritual beliefs will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go checking yourself so I feel like there's a message when the past returned, you got to ask yourself, is this person spiritually aligned with you? And if they're not, you know, you're, you're, some of you already know that. And some of you will just do a little recheck, you know? Um, now I just heard this person could try to come in with, um, being on the same spiritual page as you. So I don't know how that's going to play. Um, some of you, maybe like your person could have been an atheist and now they're spiritual. They believe in God or spirits or angels. I don't know. I just kind of get a sense to be careful of that. Like, don't judge people by what they say. Um, if they're coming in spiritually, judge them by the fruits of their labor. You know what I mean? Like, what fruits do they have to show that they are? Because anybody could say that they believe in the angels like do they pray do they meditate do they help others um you know do they wish good for people you know or are they judgmental are they sarcastic are they rude um are they selfish you know you have to actually see you know how do, do they do they take care of plants animals pets children you know how all those things those are all fruits of the spirit so if this person does not come in with those fruits they just come in with these words then they're not to be trusted that that's that devil energy coming in trying to trick you okay yeah look so you'll there's a still undecided energy here um so i don't feel like if the past returns i don't feel like you're going to jump on that either because right now your energy going forward here for the rest of may is you're very focused on self Okay, you're focusing on having new love beginnings. You may have a mother who's guiding you, um, either here on earth or up above. Um, you are divinely blessed. Okay, open your heart to receive when the time is right. Okay, when you feel like you can trust someone, cherish your children, animals, and be one with love and negative thinking in the reverse. Okay, so getting rid of that stinking thinking as well. Um, I feel like that's going to be leaving you negative thoughts, things that hold you back, those cassette tapes that keep playing, those overplayed, outdated thinking. A lot of you were running on negative thinking for a while because you might have been in a negative situation and had a hard time having hope, but hope is coming back with the star. Okay, so you're being renewed. There you go. Hope. There it is. Right when I said that. Okay, your hope, faith, and wishes are being restored, being renewed. And make a wish right now and, and believe that that's yours. Believe it's yours. Somebody's definitely going to come in and try to, you know, see to it that, you know, your wishes are fulfilled. And like I said, if the reading is anything like over the weekend, I think it was someone wants to come in and bring you the moon and the stars. Um, if that hasn't happened for you, it doesn't mean it won't. Just because it, if it hasn't happened over the weekend doesn't mean it still doesn't play you know um it still won't resonate going further all right let's take a look at numbers and signs okay 
We have a unicorn here. <clears throat> Somebody might call you a unicorn, say, or, or may call you to say you're like a unicorn to me. <laughs> Um, maybe you said that to somebody else. All right, let's get the... Uh, we have triple Scorpio there. That's symbolic. Okay. Now, triple Aries. Holy shit. And I said Aries and Scorpio, Mars ruled. For some of you, there's an Aries and a Scorpio, new in the past. For some of you... Um, it's one of the other new coming in. You'll just have to wait and see. You also have Cancer. So we have Triple Scorpio and Triple Aries. Triple Mars. Somebody might have like Mars in three places in their natal chart. <clears throat> okay, Aries again, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Gemini. Okay, that resonates for you. Great. If not, don't worry. It doesn't mean it's not the person coming in or the person from the past. All right, let's get some dates here. Oh. Okay. So, September 1st, September 6th, September 16th, September 10th, September 9th, um, September 5th. Mm. Okay. So, they're giving me... March 14th, May 9th, um, someone's born in 69, someone's born, um, okay, so August 16th I'm getting, um, the years 1990 and 1991, very important dates, um, June 16th, <sighs> somebody is 59, or will be 59, or was just recently 59 um okay 717 717 okay triple numbers please triple numbers okay 412 um now we have the numbers 9911 uh 403 numbers 4612 um, 940 310 911 okay so we'll leave those right there if, the, if those numbers resonate this is your reading for sure okay all right we've got a whole bunch here so we've got that Brazilian frog we also have um, gold a gold flower, maybe a gold flower petals charm with a diamond in the center. I'm seeing that here. I'm also seeing a lizard. And I'm also seeing, okay, they're giving me Colorado. Um, they're giving me the name Alice. Um, big time Colorado. Um, and now they're telling me Arizona. Also, um, <clears throat> I'm hearing lucky strike. <laughs> I don't know what that means. A lucky strike. Maybe it's a lucky break or a lucky strike. Okay. Got a crab. Okay. Soft in the center. Hard shell can candy on the out outer. I don't know if somebody's eating M&M's, maybe. <laughs> or some hard candy with soft gel in the center. Um, we also have some cherries. So it could be cherry trees somewhere near you. Cherry blossoms. Um, there's a silver heart as well. Okay, big silver heart. This feels like, um, they're just telling me, um, it's like a napkin ring. Somebody's got like silver heart napkin rings or some kind of metal napkin rings with hearts on it. Okay. We also have a butterfly for transformation. <clears throat> and a rocking horse. Somebody's putting up um, butterflies around a baby's room. Okay. 
butterflies around a baby's room, butterflies in clouds, or maybe you see that somewhere. Oh, they're just saying to get a couple more. Okay, just two more here. All right, so we've got a musical a stringed instrument, and we also have uh, a canary. Okay, so definitely a message coming in to you very soon before the end of this month for sure. Um, someone's delivering a message to you. <clears throat> you might be getting some song lyrics um, or a song that somebody made for you they might send to you or, or they, they're reminded about a song. Um, that cassette tape, you know, mixtape sending you some songs of some sort or they have and you're listening to them again. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave your messages there. I hope that that resonated for you guys. Um, and congratulations again to the winner for the contest as we were able to reach um, 20,000 subscribers, which was pretty darn quick. I'm pretty amazed by that. Um, that, uh, that happened so fast. I really did not expect that. Um, and it happened on March 20th, which is funny because three weeks ago, I did a, a reading about March 20th, <coughs> about a miracle of some sort that was um, unexpected to come in. And um, I didn't realize, I never listened to my readings. <laughs> I don't listen to anybody's readings, actually. Um, I get all my spiritual channeling messages and all from God. And I remembered that and I went back and I listened to it and I was like oh my god that's exactly what happened the 20,000 subscribers is a pretty big deal for me and when I saw that I was like oh wait that's that reading so I guess what I'm trying to say is one of my readings came true for myself and I wasn't expecting it so I thought that was pretty cool and if you guys had anything happen please do let me know um, but in lieu of that Sabrina K. Gar. I think that's how you say her name was the winner. Um, so I'm going to do another win, uh, winner entry contest when I get close to the 25,000, um, where I'm going to give away a free ebook that I have. It's called 11 Signs You've Met Your Twin Soul. Okay. Um, so yeah, but we, ugh, we'll see how fast that goes. But um, yeah, definitely do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video. I appreciate you so much staying with me as my channel grows and grows. And um, again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can get a 30-minute phone call with me, $50 off. So do check that out. All right, you guys. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you to the moderators and everyone for being in the chat. And um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.